Hello friends and welcome back to Study Tonight's YouTube channel. In this video, we will cover the fifth normal form to end our database normalization series. Before you watch this video, we recommend you to watch the earlier videos of this series for first, second, third, BCNF and fourth normal form. I have provided the links in the description below. Before we start with fifth normal form, let's have a quick refresher of previous normal forms. First normal form covers the basic rules like columns should have atomic values, column names should be different, etc. Then the second normal form says that there should not be any partial dependency in the table. The third normal form says no transitive dependency should exist. And then comes BCNF. And finally, the fourth normal form wants no multi-value dependency to exist. I would again recommend to watch our earlier videos to get a hold over all these normal forms. For a table to be in the fifth normal form, it should be in fourth normal form and should not have joint dependency. Just like other normal forms, the fifth normal form also comes with a dependency concept, which is joint dependency. And because of which, the fifth normal form is also known as PJNF or Project Join Normal Form. In simpler words, if a relation has joint dependency, then it can be divided into smaller relations such that if we combine the smaller relations, we will get the original table. It is confusing, but that is the basic idea. Now there are two ways to understand the fifth normal form. First is to focus on joint dependency and get confused. Other one is to understand the basic concept of breaking down a relation and why we need it. We will choose the second option. Let's take an example to understand the fifth normal form. Here we have a table with three columns, supplier, product and customer. The table has a composite primary key which is made of three attributes supplier, product and customer. Let's fill in some data in the table. Before proceeding ahead, let's see the requirements for fifth normal form or we can say when a table is in fifth normal form. It should be in fourth normal form that is no multi-value dependency should exist and if joint dependency exists, decompose the table. Now we will not explain joint dependency as that will only lead to confusion. Rather, we will try to normalize the above table in fifth normal form and while doing so, talk about joint dependency too. Let's create an ER diagram for this relationship. It will be like this. It is clearly a ternary relationship as it involves more than two entities. SPC here represents the relationship. As per the ER diagram and the relationship, we can say a given supplier can supply a given part to either one or more customers. Similarly, a given customer getting supplied by a supplier can have one or more products. A given product used by a customer can be supplied by multiple suppliers. The possible relations we just mentioned are just to outline the binary one-to-one -one relation that all our attributes can have. Supplier selling products, customer using products, supplier selling to customer or customer buying from supplier. If we try to convert the above ER diagram into exclusive binary relationships between attributes, like we mentioned earlier, it will be like this. In this ER diagram, in a way, we have decomposed the initial relationship or we can say broken down the main table. This can also be seen as this, where the main table with column supplier, product, customer is divided into three smaller tables, supply product, customer product and supplier customer. Now let's take any one row of data from our table and break it down into the decomposed table. First row of data was Acme 72x fold which will now become Acme sells 72x, Ford uses 72x and Acme supplies to Ford. When we have the data broken down like above three parts, we cannot imply that Acme sells 72x to Ford.
unless it is specified like we have in our first table. In other words, when I say ECME sells 72x and Ford uses 72x, Ford might be getting it from some other supplier. Even if there is a third relation that says ACME supplies to Ford, doesn't necessarily mean that we are talking about the product 72x. Just by looking at these three relations, we cannot conclude ACME supplies Ford with 72x. It is specifically mentioned in the relation supplier, customer and product, which was the original relationship. So when we have all the attributes in a single table, we can say for sure that ACME supplies to Ford the part 72x. Whereas when we break down the original relationship into three binary relationships, we are left to speculate as we cannot say for sure whether ACME sells 72x to Ford or not. Coming to that point that whether our original table is in 5 NF or not. Now that is very use case specific as in the current situation where we cannot imply the initial relationship based on the three sub decomposed relationship. Then we do not have to decompose our original table. But if we can, then we must decompose the original table. And that is in a way what joint dependency says. If a table is decomposed into smaller tables and that leads to some loss of information or some additional information getting created, then we should not decompose the table because that will lead to incorrect information. This might have confused you a bit, but try to understand when we design a software and its database, there are some business logics and some data collected in tables. If we focus only on the data, then yes, we just have to see that if we decompose a table into smaller relations, which when combined leads to either extra row of data or less row of data, then we stick to the original table as per 5NF. But if dividing table doesn't lead to any loss of information and using the decomposed relations, we can still verify all the facts about data, then we should break down the relation to smaller relations. This is fifth normal form. After watching this video, you will have doubts so feel free to ask because fifth normal form is a bit confusing. But I will try to reply to all of your comments to clear all your doubts. Thank you for watching this video and do subscribe to the Study Tonight's YouTube channel.